At this year's Maker Fair, my son Jeffrey and I joined the fun with our mobile recording studio, a large van from BR Music Studios that we transformed into a podcast space for the day. Going in, we weren't entirely sure what to expect or exactly how we'd structure our interviews, but we knew one thing. We wanted to capture the voices of local attendees by asking, what does music mean to you? We were amazed by the number of people eager to share their thoughts, and even more surprised when a couple came by with a ukulele or guitar to record original songs on the spot. It turned out to be an unforgettable experience filled with unique stories and spontaneous performances. And a big thank you to the Maker Fair and the East Baton Rouge Parish Library for hosting us at this incredible event. We had an amazing time learning about what music means to so many unique voices in our community. It, it was, was a truly, truly in, it was truly an or it was a truly inspiring. Let's just say it was a truly inspiring okay. day. It, it was, was a, a truly, truly inspiring, inspiring day. day. Jeffrey, before we get into the content we created that day, let me ask you this. Uh, how did you enjoy the day with me and in the recording studio and walking around? Well, it was really hot and it was a lot of hard work, but it was really fun to hear like uh, everybody's stories and stuff and uh, why they love music and all that. So I would say overall, I had a really good time. So we were really busy recording and editing and handing out information about what Baton Rouge Music Studios is, but you did get to escape a couple of times. What what did you see around the fair that you thought was cool? Well, uh, I saw one of my friends from school, so that was pretty cool, but also I saw this um, stand, and I actually went in the stand, where um, you got to play VR games, and I played Beat Saber and stuff, and it was pretty fun, and I also just saw everybody's booths, and I got to see all of their amazing crafts and services and everything, so yeah. So I think if we get invited next year, we should bring one more person with us so we get to get out of the van and walk around and maybe we have some interviews outside of the van too oh yeah that'd be fun all right jeff well i had a good time with you um let's get into the content we created on that day Mhm. uh okay make up a fake podcast intro just on the spot right now hello i'm gabriella and welcome to the blah 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 pod- podcast <laughs> what is your name uh my name is lucas and uh where do you go to school I go to Baton Rouge High. Very nice. And uh, what do you like about music? I like music because one, it kind of shows what kind of person you are in a way, and two, it can sh- it like, it gives you a way to express yourself while having fun, and I think it's one of the best just art forms out there. Very nice answer. I agree. So, and um, what brings you out to Maker Fair? I'm volunteering for Key Club right now for uh, my school. So that's why I came to uh, Maker Fair to volunteer. Oh, a little birdie tells me you take music lessons. Where do you take music lessons? I take it at the Baton Rouge Music Studio. And what do you love about Baton Rouge Music Studios? Chad. For reference, Chad is a drum instructor that's been with Baton Rouge Music Studios for almost 20 years and just so happens to be the drummer for Minus the Saint who was performing at the Maker Fair that day. Hello. Um, Hi. Uh, so what is your name? My name is Liz. Um, and where do you go to school? I go to school at Baton Rouge Magnet High School. Uh, what do you love about music? Uh, I've been loving music since I was really little. Uh, I've been dancing, singing, and doing theater since probably a little bit before I started school. And I've been doing it ever since, and I'm planning to continue to do it. And what brings you to the Maker Fair? Well, I'm here as a volunteer, but also a supporter of all the uh, small creators here in Baton Rouge. Oh, very nice, very nice. Thank you. So, uh, what is your name? Fire Rabbit Earth Child. Uh, very awesome. And, Thank um, you. What brings you to the Maker Fair? Well, actually, I'm here today performing with the Acadian Circus. I'm a flow artist as well as a, a singer-songwriter, actually. And so, as a flow artist, what I do is I perform on something called a seer wheel. It's a big metal ring that I get inside of and do kind of uh, acrobatic uh, tricks in and everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm also a fire spinner, so I I spin fire. Nice. And uh, what do you love about music? Oh, man. What I love about music is its ability to take a space and transform it into something else. It's really closely akin to, like, reading a book for me. 
which was very huge, which is why I'm, I'm excited that this is all going on at the library. Um, because music has the ability to really take you from your situation or your reality into a, a completely other reality um, that's, you know, all made up from the musician and the artists that are making the music. That's what I enjoy about it the most. It was at this point that Fire Rabbit Earth Child asked if he could borrow our little guitar that we had sitting right outside the van and record an original song. And I didn't ask, but I feel like a lot of it was improvised, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a mixture of some melodious singing and some spoken word. Was striving on glass. Strive, it lets you know that you're alive. Conceive you can construct your relief from inside of the struggle. As long as you know your part to play after you leave the huddle. Strive, it lets you know that you're alive. Conceive you can construct your relief from inside of the struggle. So, uh, hello, uh, what is your name? Sayer. It's a hard way to pronounce um, it. And what school do you go to? Um, I used to go to LaSalle Elementary, but now I'm homeschooled. What, what does music mean to you? Um, just fun and practice. Very nice. All right, uh, thank you. You're welcome. You all right? Uh, hello, uh, what is your name? Hi, my name is Ben Desatel. Okay, and what brings you out? Um, I'm actually out here with my accordion, and I'm here representing the West Baton Rouge Museum. So I'm playing like a little bit of Cajun music on the accordion, and I'm letting other people play the rub board or the frottoir and the triangle or the bastrang or tifar, the words right. in French for them. Very cool. And um, what does music mean to you? Um, so my grandfather was actually a Cajun musician, and he lived in Mamu with his twin brother. Mm hmm and because they were identical twins, they had the same voice. Yeah. And they would sing not harmonies, but they would sing in unison because they oh. had the exact same voice. So it was kind of interesting. Oh, okay. Um, and so I'm, I'm just trying to relearn their music. They both died before I was born. Ah. But, you know, the, the first language they spoke was French. Mm -hmm. And they played music their entire lives. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, their idea of music was strange because they didn't tune to, like, they didn't tune their instruments to a tuner. Because it was for their singing, they tuned to their own voices. Oh. So when I try to play along with them, I'm always slightly a little off because <laughs> it's, you know, I'm not tuning to what they were tuning to. Mm. Okay. And, um, and I see you're wearing a blues after school shirt. Uh, what is that all about? So in West Baton Rouge at the West Baton Rouge Museum, we have a after school program called the uh, Blues After School. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And what the Blues After School is, is we take um, middle and high schoolers from one of the local schools, and we just kind of teach them how to play blues music. Nice. And this has been going for several years now, and they've gotten to play on several big stages, and they've, they've played with Chris Thomas King. They've gotten to play on stage at Blues Festival here in Baton Rouge. So we're, we're really excited at how well they're doing. It was great learning about the Blues After School program. And just a few minutes later, our really good friend Sam Trevathan from Kids Orchestra popped in. So we gave him the opportunity to talk about Kids Orchestra and all the wonderful things they're doing in the community as well. So, uh, hello, what is your name? My name is Sam Trevathan. And uh, what brought you out to the uh, Maker Fair? I am here today to be involved with the Maker Fair. One, because I come to the libraries on the weekends a lot, and this is the library that is closest to where I live in Mid-City, so I love to come to the Goodwood Library. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does music mean to you? Music, to me, is a way to connect with people. It's a way to connect and share with your community. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's another reason I'm here today. The organization I work for is Kids Orchestra. We're a friend of Baton Rouge Music Studio. We're a friend of the libraries, friends of lots of other people that are here. So eager to be able to connect, make more friends, and, and better understand and serve our community through music. And uh, looking at your shirt, uh, can you possibly further explain what Kids Orchestra does? Yeah, absolutely. So Kids Orchestra is a nonprofit. We're an after-school music program, mm -hmm. and we are out in the community connecting uh, the opportunity of learning an instrument, getting access to music education in different spaces like the library. Every Saturday, we have something called Books and Music, 
and then we get to bring that into the libraries. That's September through uh, May, and then we have group lessons and private lessons similar to Baton Rouge Music Studios. We're just doing it a little bit in a different way, uh, but we are working to find ways to also work with you guys and uh, bring music to everyone through mm. through what we are doing together. Yeah, well, thanks, Sam. Mm. Thank you. You're an awesome interviewer, man. Thank you. It was fun to see so many faces in the Baton Rouge Music Studios community and the greater music community walk by and see us and say, hey, what are you guys doing? We had a father and son, Cole and Rob, stop by and we convinced them to do some back-to-back interviews with us. Uh, hello, what is your name? Cole Mulhern. And uh, what school do you go to? I go to Mayfair Lab School. Very nice. And uh, what brings you to, you know, this place? Um, my dad did, but he was interested in the cigar box spring boxes, actually. So that was fun. And uh, what does music mean to you? Everything. I'm for it. Very awesome. Uh, hello, what is your name? My name's Rob. And uh, what brings you out here to the festival? Yeah, so we've been to the Maker Fair before with my kids, and, and uh, but but this one I was more interested in because it's a lot more music-oriented. Uh, and uh, my wife was showing me that they had the music box um, from New Orleans that was coming to make, um, to, to teach people how to make these cigar box uh, music makers, noise makers, and I was really intrigued by that. And then I started looking at the whole list of things going on here. It's like, oh, these everything looks really fun out here. So uh, we we came out. And we've been we did the the cigar box making uh, project, and we, we can't wait to get those home and plug them in and play around with them. And then we saw um, a lady from LSU that's getting her PhD that makes instruments and really some crazy sounds. That was really fun. We saw. Minus the Saint, they were really good. Uh, Radul playing the cello. And, um, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun just walking around and seeing a lot of friends out here. So that's, that's nice, too. So, uh, and last question, just a big one. What does music mean to you? Oh, I love music. I'm always trying to listen to music or make music. I wish I made more music. <laughs> and I, I probably used to, but uh, I, I should make more. And, and I always... It, it kind of settles me a little bit when I'm making music. Sometimes if I just get too busy scrolling on my phone or something and it just stresses me out and just like I need to put it down and just, you know, play guitar or, you know, make some sounds somehow. And I'm mm-hmm. um, always trying to look for something new to do with music. And uh, but I wish I was more talented that I could do new things because sometimes I bore myself playing the same old stuff. But uh, yeah, I always, uh, always, music has always been a big part of my life. Uh, I just always enjoyed making it, listening to it, uh, watching it, and uh, so yeah. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Rob mentioned Minus the Saint in that last interview, and it just so happened that they walked by a few minutes later. So we got two of the members, Peter and Ben, to come into the van, and Jeffrey asked them a couple of the same questions, uh, and just a a couple of minutes after that, the sound man for mine, it's the Saint, walked by, who has also been a long time friend of ours. And so we pulled him in the van, and uh, we hope you enjoy these little answers from Minus the Saint and John, the sound guy. Uh, hello, what are y'all's names? My name is Ben. My name is Peter. All right, and um, what brings you guys to Maker Fair? We were invited to play music in our band, uh, Minus the Saint. Nice. And uh, what does music mean to you guys? To me, music is a really fun world to exist in. And uh, there's so many great things in that world. There's um, people that you uh, communicate with in beautiful ways. And it's also like, I think it's also, um, it's like existing in a world of beautiful mathematics. It's like mathematics that make you feel a certain way in your ears and in your brain. Mm. How about you, Peter? It's a really big question. Uh, But I think of how music is extremely powerful. Is this working? Yeah. Music is like this one of the most powerful forces that humans can 
can create and it seems to transcend all negative emotion and negative movements and dissonance between people uh, and it just really brings not only people together but the individual together in a, in a really special and unique way. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, what's your name? My name is John Randolph Tully. And what, bring, and what brings you to the Maker Fair? Um, I was hired by Minus the Saint, who performed earlier today, to run sound for them. What is, how do you feel about music? Oh, music. I, I love music. Um, I started playing music, uh, the guitar, when I was 10 years old. And it sort of was a way for me to, uh, I was really hyperactive as a kid, but it was sort of like calming. I could tune my energy and focus my thoughts on it. And so ever since then, you know, it's just sort of been like an exploration of that, you know, deeper and deeper and learning about how music is, you know, both like vibrational, like the the universe makes music um, and they're sort of like in a fabric weaving sort of way and um, it's also been like uh, saving uh, grace I, if you will um, you know it's like a spiritual thing so yeah uh, everything really and uh, I and one more thing, I hear you do uh, a lot of stuff in your music, or a lot of things in your music career. So, uh, what's your favorite things to do? Oh, well, uh, I when I'm making music, I like to sort of take a rock band instrumentation, but then try and make it as orchestral as possible, um, and then like really like making noise and. Uh, stuff like that, but like make it with a context of like a pop kind of song as well. Um, so that's what I like to do musically, but I also really appreciate the storyteller um, aspect. So I work with like a lot of singer songwriters, uh, which I really love as well. And then uh, I like to, when I'm like not doing any of that, I just like to watch TV, like tune out and watch TV. Uh, also really like to uh, scan like Facebook Marketplace. I'm probably addicted to that. <laughs> I probably need to do less of that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I like to do. Well, uh, thank you. For, sure. uh, yeah. yeah. Totally. And we had a couple of no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point interviews. Uh, hello, what is your name? Ria. And um, where do you go to school? Mayfair Lab. And uh, what brought you to the makeshift fair? This fair? The car? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, what does music mean to you? It means music. Oh. And uh, <laughs> uh, what do you like about Baton Rouge Music Studios? Um, there's a lot of choices there. Nice. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hello, what is your name? Um, Sarah Garcy. How do you feel about music? Um, music is art. It's like, it's a language of its own. It's kind of, I don't really know, it's just its own language in a way that I find it very interesting to try and experiment with. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. And we met a new friend named Alan Paul who was super stoked to be at the Maker Fair on that day, he brought his ukulele with him, and after doing some interview questions, he actually performed with us. So we're going to play part of that performance and keep the ukulele going through the end of this little podcast that is wrapping up here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, hello. Hey, Jeffrey. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, what is your name? My name is Alan Paul. What instrument do you play? I play all of the rock and roll instruments. I play guitar, bass, drums, piano, keyboard, uh, vocals. I, I'm kind of learning lyrics. I do kazoo, harmonica, just pretty much all the rock and roll instruments. But with me today, I have the ukulele. Very nice. Um, so what brings you out to Maker Fair? Well, I was interested in the cigar box noise-making workshop. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I came here on my bikes, and I got here late. 
So that's what brought me out here and then mm. saw the little ad for mobile recording studio. Thought I would come check it out. But uh, I love the library system. Uh, the, all the maker spaces, the recording studio downtown, the tech spaces, like I use the library. I'm definitely a patron. Like we have one of the best library systems in, in the country. And what does music mean to you? Music is a language that transcends language. It crosses all cultural barriers, all language barriers. If you can't get them with food, you're going to get them with music. Mm -hmm. And what music means to me is it has a transformative, powerful, healing, cathartic power to it. And uh, it really is a gift that if, if, you're, if you have it, you should spread it around the world. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. I loved all the flesh dead for the rest. Don't you remember? I only wanted you and Anyway, don't you remember when rhythm and divides the world and the future is dead? And don't you remember I live inside, live inside, I live inside your head. I live inside your head, rent free till we're both dead. And for our final act, while we listen to the ukulele strummings of Alan Paul, I want to play Jeffrey's answer to what does music mean to you when Alan Paul and the guys in Minus the Saint turn the question on to him. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What does music mean to you? Well, I think it's just a great art form, and uh, I think uh, if I'm ever sad, I just listen to music, and then I feel better. Um, and yeah, it just makes me feel better. And yeah, like you said, it just like transcends language. Like I can listen to any music in any language and uh, it's most likely really good. So yeah. Right on. It just makes me feel better. Right on. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, thank you guys for, um. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, but what is Thanks music, for having us. What does music mean to you? Well, whenever I'm sad and I listen to music, I feel better normally. And it just like, I can just imagine whenever I'm listening to music, like just like a movie in my brain. And it's, it's just really good. It just, it's just, I could listen to music for hours. Like it just makes me happy and it's fun to listen to. Yeah. A movie in your brain, I like that. I, I relate to that. Me it, too. I, it's, it's like, it is like traveling to a different, it's almost like you can travel to a different place or time. Mm. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you guys. For yeah. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank you for yeah. having us. This mm -hmm. is a great interview. Yeah. Over the 40 something years I've played music, it's meant a lot of different things to me. At times it was a release and an escape and such the greatest thing ever. And at times it's been a bit of a burden and a challenge in my life. But most importantly, I use music to live life. I don't live life for music and so music to me has become community and spending a day with my kid interviewing some interesting awesome people and sharing a great day with some awesome vendors and musicians and the East Baton Rouge Parish Library so yeah Jeffrey's at school so I'm signing off for him but I do think he signed off on the day of so we'll let him say goodbye to you and uh, yeah, this should be the end of our podcast. So uh, thank you for listening and bye. You've been listening to Doug Gay, founder of Baton Rouge Music Studios. Our slogan is more than music lessons because we use music to do more than music. To find out more about Baton Rouge Music Studios, visit brmusicstudios.com. And to find out about all of the other wonderful music programs available in the area, do a Google search. See what comes up.